When people inquire about magic, if they're wanting to learn spells and magic or if they're wanting a witch to do a spell for them, it's often to do with love magic. And unfortunately, a lot of the requests are usually to bring back uh, a lover or a partner that you've just broken up with. It's not the best way to use magic, uh, but it is a pretty common desire because when a relationship breaks up, it feels like it's the end of the world. One of the best ways to deal with a relationship breakup is to deal with your own wounding and your own healing first, and then decide, uh, do you want to try and communicate with this person and try to get back together if that's possible, uh, or are you just going to go and let it go? So today we're going to do a healing a broken heart spell. But before we dive into that, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to know more about witchcraft and Wicca, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Putting a spell on another person to come back to you isn't really the best use of magic because you really want that person to come back to you because they want to come back to you, not because you've kind of influenced them magically to do so. So sometimes when a relationship breaks up, whether it has the potential to get back together or not, the first place to start is healing yourself and taking care of your own emotional reaction to the relationship breakup yourself then you will be in a better state of mind to then know what you're going to do next. Now, magic isn't that great at healing emotional experiences. It's better at influencing uh, minds and uh, events and situations, but it can help ease some of that grief and that sorrow simply because when you're doing a spell for yourself, you are doing a little bit of self-care and you're taking care of yourself and that can really help you start the healing process and influence the healing process. So let's begin with healing a broken heart spell. All you need for this is a taper candle. It can be a small spell candle or a normal taper candle. You can either use a green, another green candle. I've just got a little tea light candle here, but it can be any type of candle um, or a white candle or a blue candle. So the green uh, candle is the healing, healing color. And of course the pink candle is your broken heart. So what we're going to do is break the candle in half so that it will symbolize your heart in its current state, which feels like it's broken. It's not really, it just feels that way. What you can do is you can put your name on each side of the candle so that you're bringing yourself back together with yourself again. Um, or you can just leave it. Now before uh, you break it, if you're going to anoint it with either your own personal oil or uh, if you're going to choose another oil to anoint it with, anoint it with some rose oil. Because you're wanting to heal and bring healing to yourself, you'll be anointing the candle from the tip of the candle down into the middle and then from the bottom of the candle up into the middle. Once you've done that, then you can break your candle. Like any spell, you want to make sure that you are prepared for your spell crafting. So that means just taking a moment to be able to ground yourself, center yourself and focus on what it is that you're going to be doing. This is a self-care spell, so you're going to be healing yourself. Focusing on looking at the candle, seeing that as how you feel, you're feeling a little bit broken at the moment, and seeing this other candle here as being the candle that's going to work at helping you heal. Light the green candle, and just let it heat up for a little bit. Focusing on the healing and what it's going to feel like to feel whole again and to not need that relationship in order to feel whole because that's really the whole point of it. You don't need another person to help you feel whole. Even if that person comes back, you don't need them to come back. And focus on your green candle and just saying a few words like this candle to heal and to soothe. And you're going to pour this wax onto the broken candle. This is a 
process that can take a little bit, a little while to do. And as you do that, you can be saying a heart once broken is now whole again. All sadness, all grief, sorrow and pain have now left this place. I am happy again. And you can do this quite a few times because you're going to find that it's going to take quite a bit of waxing to get the candle back together again. And that's what's one of the good things about this spell is that, that it does take that little bit of time so you can really indulge in the activity of healing your broken heart. Now once the candle wax has dried, you just place your pink candle in the candle holder, light your match and then repeat your spell again. A heart once broken is now whole again. All sadness, grief, sorrow and pain have now left this place. I am happy again. And then watch the flame melting away all of the sorrow, the sadness and the grief and the feelings of loss. And you can even picture your broken heart healing and mending again and feeling that, that pink light in your heart chakra area, mending and healing how you feel as you watch the flame. And then like with all candle magic, allow the candle to burn all the way down in a safe place. It's a really simple spell, but incredibly powerful to help you begin the healing process. If you want to know how you can start your Wiccan practice, but you're not sure of exactly where to begin, what to do next, and how to actually bring Wicca into your life in a way that actually gives your life meaning, do have a look at how to start your witchcraft practice. It's a free 20 minute video that you can download from my website and it will just give you a blueprint as to how you can navigate your way through all of the information out there and uh, without being overwhelmed by all of the information out there. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.